In the span of a year, I went from being a skinny fat kid that just played soccer to transforming my body and putting on 10 kilos of muscle. I then went and applied what I learned on my mum to help her lose nine kilos of fat in a hundred days. And so during this one year of transformation of myself and my mum, I learned nine lessons that you can apply to any area of your life, whether it's your health, your finances, your wealth and your experiences and whatever you want, you can apply this to any area of your life. And so in today's video, I'm just gonna explain these nine lessons. So I've split these nine lessons into two buckets. The first is what direction you should be heading. I found a few lessons I've learned that have helped me focus the direction I should be heading my, with my life. The second bucket is your fuel. I found a few different lessons that have helped me stay motivated and keep me pushing towards the direction that I should be heading. The first lesson is that you will be surprised what you can actually achieve in a year. This is my one year transformation where I went from a skinny fat kid that just played soccer and putting on 10 kilos of muscle. I never really realized how much progress I'd made until I went back and looked and saw the photos of myself from a year before and how much a transformation I'd made. So you'd be really surprised what you can actually achieve in a year. I never thought that I could have put on 10 kilos of muscle, but I ended up doing it. And so whatever your goal is, if you actually just stick to it for one year and you dedicate yourself, you'll really be surprised what you can actually achieve. Same thing goes with my mum. I helped her lose nine kilos in 100 days and I transformed her health and her body. And she was surprised what she actually achieved in just over three months. And you'll be surprised as well what you can achieve in a year if you just stick to it. The second lesson is find something you can do consistently. You can only see that massive progress in a year if you do something consistently. So 1% improvements over a year means you'll end up 37 times better. So you wanna find something that you can stick to long term. And so for me going exercise five times a week was something I can stick to long term and that's what I've been staying with for over a year and I've seen massive benefits. For my mum, it was just going for walks every single day that helped to lose that nine kilos. So find something you can stick to and do every day. That's probably one of the biggest lessons that I've learned. The third lesson is find the big dominoes. What things cause the biggest results? 20% of your actions cause 80% of your results. So for my weight gain, I realized that there was really only two big dominoes and that was eating lots of protein. So eating about 190 grams of protein every day. If I did that, I would end up gaining muscle and then doing progressive overload on my training. So if I just focused on progressive overload and eating the 190 grams of protein every day, I kind of knew that I would be gaining muscle. And same thing goes with my mom. If she was walking every day, doing 30 minutes of exercise and eating a 700 calorie deficit, we knew she would lose weight. So find the big dominoes that will cause all the results. Focus on those actions. The fourth lesson is if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If I hadn't picked exercises I could do consistently, I wouldn't have got the amazing results. If I haven't picked a diet that I could do consistently, I wouldn't have had amazing results. And so picking those things was creating a plan for myself and allowing myself to create a plan gave me a direction for where I should be heading, how I can do it consistently and which caused the great results. So you need to have a plan. It doesn't have to be super complicated. For me, it was having an exercise program, doing certain exercises on certain days, having a diet that I stuck to every day, and that plan, sticking to it, allowed me to do and achieve what I achieved in a year. And so it's super important to have a plan, try and create a habit tracker as well, that's one thing that's helped me a lot to stay accountable, but make sure you have a plan and you stick to it, and it's simple. So if it's more simple, you can stick to it, those 1% improvements lead to great results. So create a plan. The fifth lesson I learned is trying to automate and create habits. Humans and nature, we always create the path of least resistance. So for me, creating a habit was around eating the same food every day, which sounds boring, but once you start doing it, it becomes super easy and it creates an automated habit where you just do it. Same thing goes with anything, if you automate tasks like if you pick the exercise program once and that task is automated where you just do the same workout on different days and you create sort of automation and ease and so when it's easy you can do it consistently as well. So try and find a way where you can do something once and it lasts a while like creating an exercise program or a diet plan and then stick to it to create a habit and it becomes easy because the more you do it, the easier it gets. The sixth lesson I learned was have accountability. So for my mum, she wanted to lose 10 kilos and I helped her on the journey to do that. I held her accountable every day going for walks with her. I made sure she stuck to her diet and having that accountability, she thinks was the biggest impact, it had the biggest effect on her losing nine kilos. Having that accountability taps into that human nature of being social creatures and wanting to impress others. And so you've got to embrace that and just 
try and find someone that can hold yourself accountable to make sure you get the results you want. The seventh lesson I learned is have a reason why. My mum, she went on a holiday and she saw people that were 10 years older than her and those people were struggling to go for walks and she realised if she continued on the way she was going, she would end up on one of those people. And so the reason why she wanted to lose weight is she didn't want to end up like that in 10 years. So that one reason why caused her to go on the weight loss program, caused her to stay consistent every single day because she didn't want to end up like that in 10 years time. And so all you need is just one reason why to come over that obstacle. There's always going to be obstacles on your journey going towards your goal. And so having at least one reason why you're going on this journey is going to help you overcome those obstacles and they're always going to be there so if you don't have any reasons of why you're going over this obstacle you're less likely to go over it so just have a reason why it can be one it can be multiple but just keep it in the back of your mind keep it in your pocket for when you come up against that obstacle that's the reason why you're getting over it the eighth lesson i learned is that small wins lead to bigger wins initially my mum's weight loss she was slow progress losing maybe one, two kilos the first few weeks and months. And then she skyrocketed and went up to six kilos and then that plateaued for another few weeks. And so what I realized is that staying consistent leads to small wins and those small wins compile over a few days and weeks and months until you get another breakthrough in activity and progress and that leads to a bigger win. And so each time you stay consistent every single day, those small wins will lead to bigger wins in progress but it takes time for the external wins to show up. So you have to stay consistent. Those small wins are internal wins and those big wins are the external wins, the ones you see in real life. And the last lesson I learned was that you have to be in a positive environment. If you were in Antarctica, no matter how positive your mindset was, you would still be cold. Realizing that actually just transformed my mindset into how important a social and a physical environment is. And so I was always scared of going to the gym. And then once I started going there, I realized that everyone there is trying to become a better version of themselves. It's a positive environment to be around and it's infectious and it makes you want to improve yourself more and more and more. And the same thing with going with my mum for walks. We're both positive and we wanted to do it. And being in that positive environment made us enjoy going for walks even more. We are seeing views, we are going on great walks and that was just a positive reinforcement and it's super important to be in a positive environment whether it's with your people you enjoy, doing activities you enjoy, whether it's a physical environment where it's nice and clean, you enjoy being there. You need to be in a positive environment, physical, emotional, social environment that'll help you achieve your goals. Just remember even if you're in Antarctica, no matter how positive your mindset is, you're still going to be cold. So make sure you're in a positive environment. So to summarize the nine lessons for the direction you want to be going in, you, you'll be surprised what you can actually achieve in a year, whether it's your health, your finances, anything in life, you'll be surprised what you can achieve in a year if you just dedicate yourself. Second, to find something you can do consistently. If it's saving $10 a week to try and get your goal of going on a holiday, or whether it's doing 30 minutes of exercise every single day to lose some weight, Try and find something you can do consistently over a long period of time because it'll lead to great results. Third thing, find the big domino. What's the 20% of your actions that will cause 80% of your results? If you want to lose weight, focus on your diet. Try find the big domino that is going to cause most of the results. Make sure you plan how you're going to overcome obstacles. What are you going to do consistently every day? How are you going to keep yourself accountable? What environment are you going to be in? Try and plan these things ahead. Create a simple plan that you can stick to, whether it's for your health, your finances, your relationships, your work, anything. Try and create a plan that's simple you can stick to and you can see progress every day. Automate tasks and create habits. So for my finances, I started doing automated savings. I went and on my banking app, I made it automated that it would save a certain amount of money every single week. So I don't even have to think about it. It's an automated task. For my habits, I eat the same thing every day. It might sound boring, but when I'm gaining weight, I just eat more of it, and when I'm losing weight, I just eat less, and I really enjoy the food. So try and create a habit, stick to it, and you'll see amazing results. For your fuel, try find someone that will keep you accountable, a buddy, maybe you pay a personal trainer, an expert in that field that you want to improve. Pay someone to keep you accountable. Find someone, a friend, a family member that keep you accountable, 
And so try tapping into that social part of our evolution where you want to impress other people and they will keep you accountable and you will help yourself keep yourself accountable. And over the long term, you'll see amazing results. Have a reason why. So it can be one reason, it can be many reasons. For my mum, she didn't want to be that person 10 years down the track that couldn't really walk very far. And that one reason why caused her to make a big change in her life and she's seen amazing progress. Have the one reason why that'll help you overcome the obstacles when you face them. Eighth lesson, small wins lead to bigger wins. Those internal wins you get lead to bigger wins externally. So try focus on those activities you can do consistently get a pile of small wins and they'll eventually lead to bigger wins. And the last lesson is being in a positive environment. If you're in Antarctica, no matter how positive your mindset is, you're gonna be cold. Try find a group of people, an environment that's positive that'll help you work towards your goals and achieve them. Now, I hope you learned a lot from these nine lessons. I certainly did, I've been applying it not just to my health, but other areas of my life. It's worked for me, it's worked for my mum. Try and apply it into your life, see how it goes. Just start with one thing, create a plan, do, find something you can do consistently, find a buddy that'll help you stay accountable, and you'll be amazed of what actually you can achieve in a year. Stay consistent, let me know how it goes applying these nine lessons, and I'll see you again in the next video.